For this video, I'll be breaking down the Bulls vs. Lakers game. I'll be getting into why they are a great defensive team, how that leads to easy buckets, and why they will be a good playoff team. Okay, to kick this off, here's a clip of Lonzo Ball playing defense. You'll notice he fights over the screen and then gets up to deflect the pass. Once Westbrook has to chase it facing away from the hoop, Lonzo immediately gets into him right here and doesn't give him any room to create. This forces him into a tough shot. Lonzo then leaks out and the Bulls get an easy layup off a bad shot and possession by the Lakers. Now for this clip, we're going to talk about why you can't take bad shots against the Bulls, especially when they're not forcing you to. You see that Westbrook takes an off-balance shot. With the Bulls running, you have, you have athleticism and shooting everywhere. This turnover then leads to a knockdown three by Lonzo Ball. Here you have Lonzo Ball guarding Anthony Davis in probably his best spot on the floor. Caruso steps over to help, so Anthony Davis kicks out to Westbrook. Once Westbrook catches the ball, he fires it immediately with 10 seconds left on the shot clock, which is a horrible shot. If Westbrook would have been patient, he could have had one of the best big men in the league posting up a point guard. This then leads to a Zach Levine dunk on the break. With the Bulls having a bunch of knockdown shooters and good one-on-one -on -one players, you can have isolations everywhere. DeRozan, in my opinion, is one of the best ISO players in the league. This is what happens when you do double team. Right here, they have Zach Levine coming off the ball screen. Even if the player guarding Caruso gets there a little quicker, you still have him spotting up for a three on the wing. Here you have Anthony Davis posting right up inside of the top of the key. If you look at the Lakers offense, nobody's moving at all. With the Bulls, you have everybody on the floor that can guard their man and make it difficult, and you won't beat them with that as your game plan. You now have Wayne Ellington shooting an off-balance three with 20 seconds left in the shot clock. What happens next is easy transition points from the Bulls. Easy and one. Even though the Bulls are excellent one-on-one -on -one defenders, they also play great help defense. Watch what happens when AD posts up on the block. Look at the three Bulls jerseys surrounding Anthony Davis. They have two good closeouts and a good contest by Caruso. Here's another ISO play by DeRozan. He doesn't have to rush. He takes his time and gets where he wants to, when he wants to. Now for this next clip, they see they can't handle DeRozan one-on-one, -on -one, so they double the ball screen, and look at what happens. Derrick Jones Jr. gets an and one, and still had the option to kick out to Lonzo Ball, who hit seven threes this game. 